Hey y'all, here's how I made these boho style Christmas trees. So I got this dried pompous grass and bunny tails off of Amazon. So I'm starting off by taking just some regular brown craft paper. You can use any type of paper to make your little cones out of. This is just what I had. So I rolled that up, taped it, and then cut off the bottoms and trimmed it up until it stood up straight. So just a little bit of trimming, didn't take a whole lot. And I made a few different sizes of this. Mostly all of this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gluing my pompous grass directly to my cones. The pompous grass was a lot easier to do than the bunny tails, just because you could just glue it directly to the cone and it covered the entire cone. Whereas the bunny tails, it was a lot more tedious. You had to individually place those. And once I had all of my pompous grass attached to our first cone, I just trimmed up the bottom of it. And then I felt like it needed something extra. So I glued in some little pom-poms directly to our pompous grass. It was just a little shaggy tree, kind of like another little cousin it tree, as you guys have said. But just another cute little rustic style tree. Now moving on to the white pompous grass, so we're just gluing that directly to the cone again. And this one actually ended up being my favorite one. And this one was fairly easy as well, so it's just a matter of gluing it directly down. I did have to do a little bit of layering to make it look more like a tree and give it more of a fluffy shape. And then just trimming up the bottoms and trimming off the tops of those stems. This is a little bit off camera, but I did tie a chiffon ribbon at the top of it just to hide the tops of those stems. And I still felt like it was missing something. It was a little too bright in my opinion, so I needed something to kind of break that up a little bit. So I added in some little rusty bells. And then for our last tree, we're doing the bunny tails. And this is the super tedious one. Just going in and placing each of those bunny tails and then layering them until it finally looked something like a tree. For all of my trees, I didn't show this on my other ones, but I glued them down to a wood slice to give them a stand. And then we're going to add a little something extra to this one as well. And here's how they all turned out. So it's definitely something a little different. I love going with rustic style decor anyway, so this will tie in really well with my decor. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for watching.